Hello, hello, Stephanie, your mama mentor, back with another exercise from the book Be Mighty. This is called the Yes Battles No. The goal in doing these, by the way, is to really help with anxiety, stress, and worry. That's what this book is all about. Before we move on, let's pause to experientially connect to the difference between struggling to avoid internal experiences versus opening and allowing them to be as they are. To start, Shift your attention to your body. Notice your feet on the floor or in your shoes. Notice the way the furniture or floor supports your body. Now, zero in on the sensations of your back against the chair, floor, or whatever surface you are resting on. Each time you notice a sensation, touch, contact, pressure, pain, itch, do your best to avoid experiencing the sensations you notice. For the next two minutes, whenever you notice the sensation of your back against the chair, say no to it. Do whatever it takes to suppress, stop, restrict, control, distract from, or avoid experiencing the sensation of your back against the surface it is resting against. Close your eyes for the two minutes so you can really focus on pushing the sensations away. Once the first two minutes are up, continue to keep your focus on the sensations in your back. But for the next two minutes, shift your response to those sensations. For the next two minutes, accept those sensations. Say yes to those sensations. Be willing to feel the sensations simply as sensations, whatever they may be. Observe the sensations. Open up to them. Expand around them. Allow whatever shows up to just be. Let go of the resistance. In your journal, reflect on your experience. What did you notice? Were you successful at avoiding the sensations in your back? How did your experience differ when you said yes versus no? Often, people report no real change in sensations, but they do feel a notable decrease in tension, distress, and effort when practicing willingness instead of struggling to avoid. This week, practice shifting between purposely resisting a difficult internal experience, an emotion, sensation, or urge, then practicing willingness toward that same experience. Notice the differences and reflect on this in your journal as you go. So this one I really enjoy because it gives us a sense of what is within our control and of course, we there are some things we can't control, right? So there's no point in being anxious about it, no point in worrying, because if it can't be controlled, us thinking about it, worrying about it, stressing over it isn't going to change the outcome of it, right? So that's the first thing that I bring, I get out of this exercise. The second thing I get out of this exercise is the fact that you'll notice it's much easier to not resist, to not suppress these feelings, right? The things you're feeling, the sensations that are coming up. Um, it's much easier to allow a sneeze than to suppress a sneeze and try to avoid the sneeze. And it's that way with so many things in our life, not just, not just sneezes and coughs and things, but also things that are happening externally in our lives as well. It is so much easier to just allow them to be what they are and move on and not, not try to resist it, not try to avoid it. And of course, this is especially true as this book implies with our feelings and our emotions. So I hope this is helpful for you. Try to do the entire practice, maybe pause when I say to do the two minutes, pause and set a timer and do that for yourself and then pause again at the second portion, set a two minute timer and do it again and see what you experience differently. I hope this is helpful for you mamas and I'll talk to you soon. Ah.